As you can see, ice storms can cause major disruptions and damage. Roads become hazardous during and immediately after storms, and tree limbs and branches can break, falling on cars, houses, and power lines, resulting in property damage and power outages. Ice storms are severe winter weather events that are most commonly seen east of the Rocky Mountains. Ice storms are typically defined as winter weather events in which freezing rain occurs, causing ice accumulation on surface objects, resulting in disruptions to travel, power, and may result in injuries and fatalities. The effects of ice storms persist after the precipitation has come to an end. Areas continue to be impacted until the ice has melted. This can last several days to weeks in the most severe of cases. Atmospheric temperature profiles are what influence precipitation types seen at the surface. These winter precipitation types include snow, sleet, and freezing rain. For snow, the entire column of the atmosphere must be below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. As the snow falls from the clouds, it will not have a chance to melt before reaching the ground. For the formation of sleet, ice particles fall into a shallow layer of above freezing temperatures that allow the particles to melt. This liquid rain then falls into a freezing layer above the surface that allows the rain to refreeze back into an ice particle before reaching the ground. Freezing rain, on the other hand, has a much deeper layer that is above 32 degrees. Once the ice particles melt, the liquid rain approaches a shallow freezing layer just above the surface. Since the liquid rain does not have time to refreeze before reaching the surface, it falls as liquid and then refreezes on contact with the surface. Common synoptic patterns associated with the formation of freezing rain events include an arctic front, cold air trapping and damming, and the warm or occluded sector of a cyclone. An arctic front progresses in a southeastward direction ahead of a strong anticyclone. The region in which freezing precipitation is found corresponds to the location of the 32 degree isotherm. Cold air damming occurs when a zone of sub-freezing air remains at low levels along the slopes of a mountain range with a layer of above freezing air aloft. Ice storms produced by the warm front or occluded sector of a cyclone typically have an area of icing north of the freezing line. This is due to warm air advection positioned over a shallow layer of cold air at the surface. This is the Sperry Pilt Ice Accumulation Index. This index categorizes the severity of ice storms based on the amount of damage the storm produces. The index takes into account total wind speeds and ice accumulation on surfaces such as power lines and trees. Index values of zero are the least severe events, while index values of five are the most catastrophic events. Ice storms can have a serious impact on trees. Ice accumulations anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch of ice can start breaking faulty limbs and small branches such as this one. But as you start getting greater accumulations, you start impacting healthy young trees and anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of ice can start breaking large branches, putting weight up to 30 times greater than the tree's own weight, causing stress and fracturing of the branches. When thinking of the impacts caused by ice storms, the effect of travel comes to mind. Transportation, including car and air travel, are significantly infected by ice storms. Overpasses, such as the one behind me, typically freeze first due to the airflow underneath the surface, cooling the surface down quicker. This makes bridges and overpasses freeze quickly during ice storms, making them more dangerous and where accidents typically occur. An interrupted power supply is one of the biggest disruptions caused by an ice storm in terms of both economic and societal impacts due to a great reliance on electricity. Now these power outages may last anywhere from several days to several weeks depending on the severity of the storm and the accessibility to get to these power cables for companies to fix them after the storm is over. Here at the National Weather Service, they're responsible for issuing advisories and warnings to do with ice storms. Freezing rain advisory is issued if the forecast ice accumulation is expected to cause problems to, to travel, but be a total accumulation of less than a quarter of an inch. If this forecast accumulation is greater than a quarter of an inch and significant disruption to travel and utilities are expected, an ice storm warning is issued. Unfortunately, there are tragic consequences due to ice storms. Injuries and fatalities are typically a result of power outages. These are commonly caused by carbon monoxide poisoning due to poorly ventilated generators, slips and falls on ice and due to bad lighting, and fires from exposed flames such as candles. Now all of these can be prevented with the correct preparation before the storm. Now that you understand the formation of ice storms and how their severity is characterized, you will be better prepared the next time an ice storm is forecast for your area.